The village of Stony Ford, uh, let's see, there are also, outside of the houses uh, around the festival, there's an outer ring of campsites. There's probably three or four different campsites. Um, and there are houses inside there. If you are, if you have a prosperous uh, or rich um, background, and they've of course changed those names, haven't they? Um, anyway, if you have a prosperous or rich um, uh, standard of living, uh, you can actually rent one of those houses to stay in. Um, I do not expect all of you to kind of automatically get together and go, hey man, you can stay with me. I know you. You know, that, that sort of thing. <laughs> hey, well, I might have met uh, Duota and and some of the fellows with B uh, Bajoran the Boring. <laughs> 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 Bjorn of the Boring? Wow. Uh, okay. Well, he does make a good pancake, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys can look at your connections on your character sheets to see who you might have come in with. Um, and I'm not going to worry right. about putting a roof over your head or anything. We're just going to say you found some place to stay. What's up, Connor? Uh, I was like, it was just uh, me and uh, Norrin because, uh, uh, you know, our third uh, connection person is currently working right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a toughie right there. Okay. He had a, car he had a caravan to guard first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, he's joining us later. You know, we, are, we are saving a room uh, bed for him. Yeah. There you go. Okay, uh, also in the town is a large corral, and it's got, at each end of this corral, it's got uh, two kind of end caps that have ca uh, cage doors uh, in front of them that can be pulled upwards. Uh, in one of them is a really large, almost as wide and as long as the, um, the corral itself. Uh, a cage, and there is a massive black bull in that cage. Okay, the other cage is empty, and it's smaller. In fact, too small for anything but sheep and goats to be put into. Um, but it's tall enough for people, so you have to worry about that one or wonder about that one. Um, <laughs> there is. <Okay>, <laughs> There's also kind of a fenced off area not too far from that uh, that corral. Uh, the area is is fenced off, but it looks like there are some obstacles and some other things that are are there uh, that probably are part of the trial. Okay. Uh, now, for those of you who are here, you have a night before the the trials are going to begin do any of you want to do anything like introduce yourselves or or drink a lot or you know anything like that uh, i mean I'll have my character would probably go out drinking some food some drinks mm -hmm. get to know people okay get to know, uh, know more about the festival and you know I I would be looking mm -hmm. about the sickle as well. There you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. I would be looking for stories and information. Well, I wouldn't quite say information, but interesting stories that I could glean because I'm also a scholar. Well, so does that mean that Duota and uh, and Luthwin would probably be two who would easily get together, even though you're a dwarf and an elf? Well, we came in together. Uh, yeah. yeah, we were already coming in. Together. So okay, yeah, it, yeah that's, that's right. That's I, the reason why we are together. Yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting that. Uh, I should probably write that down somewhere. <laughs> which would make, which would make <laughs> sense that we're both hanging out. You know. And my character knows uh, Jarnor, Dota, and uh, Iwald. Okay. And uh, so I, I would likely check in, Ka Jamil. And then uh, use my my uh, skill explore uh -huh. to uh, look over the town and the and the probably and anything I can explore about the upcoming trials. 
Okay, uh, is there anything in particular you're looking for, or are you just looking around in general? Um, my character is stealthy, so I'm looking for good exits, good spots to observe and maybe listen. Okay. Eavesdrop, maybe. Um, entrances and exits. Uh, and, uh, yeah, anything I can pick up about the trials themselves. Okay. Especially if I can, like... Stealth up to it and, and, and listen in on some, some conversations. But mostly I want to explore to make sure I don't, like, fall in a ditch during a trial or something. <laughs> well, um, the fenced-in area, it, there are barren guards, uh, mostly just kids with sticks, uh, who are saying, look, stay outside of the fence. You're you're welcome to look into the, the fenced area, but stay outside of it. We're trying to make sure that everybody has a fair chance at everything. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, Duota, I'm, or not Duota, I'm sorry, uh, Radigand, I'm going to come back to you in a few minutes. I want to find out uh, more about what others are doing. Um, you mean, I, I do want to point out if there's a chink in the fence that I could look through or a tree or a building that I could climb to the roof of and look down on it, I would probably be looking for that too. Well, the, the fence is more like, uh, you know how at Walmart, uh, they'll put up some cinder blocks and then they'll put like a, a, a piece of wood between two cinder blocks to, yeah, to denote a boundary. Kind of a, that's, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. It, it's not really all that important, um, but uh, so everybody has the same fair chance of looking at it from a distance. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, no, that's not going to work. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it then. Uh, you guys will just have to kind of remember whom you came in with and everything like that. Okay, so uh, I've heard from... Duota going out to drink. Uh, I've heard from Norin and Luthwin about eating, drinking, finding information. Um, you old. Uh, for the most part, I think it just kind of walk through the town, get a lay things, and maybe, you know, maybe there's like a little bit of painting stuff I could maybe do. Maybe drinking or strength, something like that. Okay. All right. Well, there are there are various uh, games that you can play here. Uh, uh, you know, arm wrestling, some regular wrestling matches, stuff like that. If you're willing to get dirty, but none of them are are marked as official or anything like that. Um, uh, in fact, the the table that is supposed to be for the for th uh, what they call thimble rig is is also kind of fenced off so that nobody can touch it it's got all of its implements on top and basically what it is is a uh magic p game where you're 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 doing the magic cups covering the p shuffling it around everything like that um and then whomever finds the the uh, p gets uh you know gets some uh gets a, a little bit of cred if you will um Let's see, what else? Um, but mainly it's just eating and drinking. Uh, the Bjornings are, are... How do I describe this? They're amazingly curious by need of suspicion. Does that make sense? They're sure. a, a yeah. suspicious folk who will use kindness and, and nice words to get information out of you guys, news of the world, everything like that. Uh, their own suspiciousness tends to keep others away from them, so they don't find out a whole lot. But they also have stories about crops and uh, and uh, uh, various uh, you know ranches and stuff like that, cattle that uh, uh, they've dealt with over the year and stuff like that. Actually, kind of a pretty boring people. So, but yes, there are, uh, for, for Norin and Luthwin, there are definitely some stories. Okay. Uh, I will share, hey. I will share some stories of Erebor and crafting 
wondrous items in Erebor for sale to, like, Hale and to, you know, here and whatnot, and basically try to find out more about the sickle and how it helps props and things and mm-hmm. stories and, you know, the story for a story, basically. There you go. Okay, well, when when Norrin sits down to talk, um, and and you're not making any die rolls right now, so I'm I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. Um, when Norrin goes to talk, you can see faces full of mixed emotions. Um, the the folk of this area were not were generally not always Bjornings, especially if they're over the age of five. Okay, um, uh, they remember. The stories of the dwarves of Erebor coming through and shaking everything up, and then killing the dragon, and then they retook Erebor and fought the Battle of the Five Armies, which took a lot of people away and and wound up killing a lot of people. But then it helped a lot of them come to Beorn and find their new home. And so you've got all of these emotions that are kind of mixed in together, okay, about all of that. Um, wa- hmm? No. What, what was that, Ginger? Uh, not me. That's um, Blair and Tracy in the background. Oh, okay. All right. Hi, Blair and Tracy. Um, Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> doing well. <laughs> uh, okay, Walford. Being... Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. What, what were you going to say? Being the lone uh, hobbit in this town but not perhaps the first to pass through um, because uh, Dodinus and Dinotus Brandybuck and their families passed through this area on their way to help establish the Easterly Inn, which you should have found in, in your reading. Um, I did. For your character. Um, uh, they are a- Dinotus and, and Dodinus are actually kin of yours. Okay. Um, they are distant kin, but they are kin nonetheless. Um, and so you're not the first hobbit that's come through, but you're the first hobbit in a while, in at least two years. No, at least a year. That's right. They didn't start building the Easterly Inn until, because it's only 2945. So, um, anyway, you are a curiosity, as is Norin, to the various children that are around, but the, the, a lot of the children are more interested in Norin than in you because of the beard. Okay, <laughs> it's that ubiquitous beard. Um, uh, uh, go ahead. What do you want to do? I would say I, I tell the kids. Uh, I tell the kids every now and then. Give a tug on it. Dwarves love that. <laughs> 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 You're looking to start a fight, aren't you? <laughs> okay. I, I don't do it where I don't do it where he can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you do, or are you gonna kind of? Uh, no, I, I, I wanted to find out um, what uh, Duanda, uh, Duoda, Duoda. Duoda. I, w- I wanted to find out what games Duoda was planning on participating in. You know, she she's actually here to try to win this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then I was going to try to figure out who was also participating in those games, and I was going to see about getting them like so mind-numbingly drunk that they all have hangovers tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, it's actually kind of hard to come up with an answer to that for the simple fact that you, nobody knows who is actually participating except for some of the locals. Um, f- mm. f- you know, for instance, they're saying that, uh, that, uh, Galvira will probably be, uh, on the stage of the nobles like she was last year. Um, uh, Turin the Tinker will uh, be paying uh, homage in the ancient riddle game, um, but they don't know. And and Mean Shrek, they they're pretty certain that uh, nobody intends to go into the cage with the bull. Okay, but other than that, they don't know how many actual events there are going to be. 
okay um, because they change each year for the each, each year for the last three years they've added an event okay or for the last two years they've added an event they started out with five and last year they added one and most likely this year they're going to add one so knowing who all is going to be where you just don't know okay mm. um but uh, there are still folks coming in from out of town uh from you know there it's even rumored there might be uh, a vig lunding here and the vig lundings are not necessarily the most trusted people um but they're only a little less trusted than the woodmen themselves Okay, so anybody that's a woodman, uh, you you just kind of got told. Um, but uh, uh, the Vig Lundings are actually uh, very much like the woodmen in their history. Uh, uh, so there may be somebody from there uh, coming into play. They, there's all kinds of rumors that swirl around, but it's only rumors. Now, let me go to Radigand real quick. Please go ahead and roll... Would it be Explore? Let's see. Let me pop open Bjarner here. Okay. Um, I think it, it would be Scan, would it not? Scan is... Scan is not quite awareness. It's, it's Scan is a search. Yeah. So Scan or... Ex yeah. I'm going to let you choose. Scan or Explore. Do we all do? Do you want me to roll a scan or yeah. or explore? Uh, nobody else is trying to roll choice. dice right now. Oh, so so which 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 is what I need to do? Explore or scan? Well, scan, scan is kind of a search. One explore allows you to kind of pick out things in the area, so you're kind of at a midway point uh, for choosing which one to go with. It's it's kind of a I'll mixture keep... of the two. Uh, could I do both? No, just do, just do one. All right, I'll do the one I'm more skilled in then. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, so, uh, that is a favored skill. So what's just happened is that, uh, it rolled 2d12 for you and it takes the best of the two. So what you've got is a basic success. Okay. Uh, this success... I wonder why it did that. Uh, this success allows you to kind of pick out some good spots to go to. You might even be able to uh, figure something out in one of the games. So I want you to take a note that you gain one dice in a, I'm not going to say a common skill test of your choice, but we can work that out at the time. Okay, we can work out what it can go for. If you need to use a skill, uh, you can ask me if that one dice will apply to that skill. Okay. Okay, so just hold on to that. Um, now, uh, Ginger was the first to ask me, so now I'm going to go back and ask the rest of you, do any of you need to do, want to do any kind of special die rolls? I could go down the list if you want me to. Oh. I mean, how close off is that bowl? Oh, that bowl is not going anywhere. You can you can see through the slats, but you're not going to want to get that close because he's got horns. Could I be close enough to talk to it? Oh, that's right. You have the speakers, don't you? Yep. Um, sure. Give it a shot. Um, you. Let's see. What would uh, you roll? Uh, for animals, it would be a song because, you know, calming a scared horse would, you know, require a song. Okay. All right. So roll me a song. Um, and, um, I, you know what? Let me pop open Luthwin real quick. I need to see if I'm going to give you any kind of a bonus for that. Um, so the speakers, for those who don't know, it gives... Um, gives Luthwin the opportunity to speak with nature, whether it's stones or a horse or a bull or the trees or the air, for that matter, um, to kind of discern how things work. This is part of the magic of the elves. Um, so y y you know what? Go ahead. 
Yeah, go ahead and roll song. Okay, so your face on that dice is not showing up, and I don't know why. Okay, you rolled a great success, dude. So that's pretty awesome. Um, He's actually having a conversation with a critter. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, but that it's cool. it, it's it's more of a he Luthwin Luthwin's a she, yeah. Okay, Luthwin has a, a an innate ability to be able to kind of speak the language uh, or discern what what the what the natural beast is or the, the the part of nature they're talking to is saying and then to be able to speak back with them so uh luthwin let's go ahead and, and knock this out real quick what are you trying to find out now remember this is a bull there? this is a bull he's not terribly intelligent okay I, like what do you what do they have you here for because i'm angry all Are the you time meant to chase people. No, but I don't think it's fair that I tell you. Why would I tell you? Now, if you wanted to, you could try and roll a persuade against it. But uh, let's see. I the target number. Uh huh. Yep, that one. Okay. Is that the new puppy? Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you name it? Uh, we've decided to call it Evil Betty. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> We're probably not going to use the evil part very often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so... All right, so your... I'm going to make your target number plus four. Four. So, uh, what I want you to do is is go ahead and and uh, click on persuade, and then when the box po uh, pops up, I I need to see if there's a penalty or anything. Uh, I can type into the difficulty to be what it, it's so sixteen because it's twelve for me. Yeah, yeah, that would be right. That would be correct. So your target is a sixteen. I have to roll a 12 or otherwise this will fail. Yep, failed. Okay, that's that's a, a three. Wow. Uh, yeah, I can't see your your sides on your dice for some reason. I may have to uh, I may have to reload my page. Um, anyway, I mean I can't see it either. Yeah. Neither can I. I think that's because you know if it's covering the map, it'll stay see through, so we can still see the map. I saw it. Well, um, actually, dice. the the way it is is you guys all set up your dice, um, uh, after logging in here, right? So your dice are not yeah. going to show up for anybody else. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and reload, and it's probably gonna kick you guys out, but uh, just be prepared to come back in. Uh, and then everybody should be able to see everything. Oh. Well now, log in, is it? Even I have to log in to forge sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Yes, I already logged in. And there we go. Launch my foundry. I was I'll, I'll mute so that we don't have to hear him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tythonin. Tythonin. Join game session. All right, so you were not able to get out of the bowl uh, the answer that you wanted, which was more or less to find out why, uh, uh, you know, why he's participating in a challenge. And that's pretty much all he can tell you. So, okay, so I'm going to start at the top. And if you guys can think of anything that you would like to do during the evening, we'll we'll go with that. Um, Duota. Yes. Are you trying to do anything special, getting into a drinking contest, or or trying to out eat others? Um, because this is your village, and you have village pride. 
Or are you just more or less... I might be joining in some song and dance on top of the tables. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure um, your favorite hobbit would, uh, jo- uh, would egg you on. <laughs> in fact, the only hobbit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so... Um, go ahead and give me a song roll. Just for the sake of it. Again, I'm trying to kind of teach you guys the game here, so I'll get you some dice rolls, get you kind of comfortable with that. Uh, no bonuses oh, or gosh. penalties. Hold on. Right. Oh, see, now I've got everybody's pictures showing up, all of the dice are showing up properly, etc. Yep, that was perfect. Okay, so um, you more or less... You get jiggy with it, but you look silly doing it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fun kind, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm drunk. Some people can forgive me. Exactly, and and uh, <laughs> you're not necessarily the most fun individual on the planet, but y- your bearing neighbors and your family understand that you're always willing to try something new. So. So uh, the dancing was the new for tonight. Uh, okay, Ewald, anything that you want to do in particular? I'm going to arm wrestle. Okay, uh, you know what? Uh, let's see. Let me, let's see, what would be good for arm wrestle? Athletics. Go ahead and roll Athletical. athletics. And uh, okay. it's going to be an additional modifier of two. All right. I saw your dice go, but holy smokes, those are some pretty dice, man. Ooh, but it's still a failure. Um, yep. Uh, might give you another chance pretty soon, but you come across probably one of the 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 larger guys. As a matter of fact, you come across Bjarner, and he wants to go ahead and and arm wrestle you. And somehow, for whatever reason, he's able to take you down. It's a good struggle, and he says, "Why don't you recover and come back for a second round?" I think I'll accept that challenge. Good. Until then, let's go drink. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, Luthwin, you just did what you were going to do. Uh, Norin, uh, t- storytelling. Do you have the storytelling? Uh, uh, let's see, Norin right. of Erebor, do you have the storytelling uh, ability? No. No? Uh, let's see. But you do have rhymes of lore. Let's see. So let's see. Why don't you go ahead and roll song? Uh, roll song as it is. Okay. And and let's see how things go. Just straight up. Right. Just straight up. Okay, so you rolled a 13. So during the course of the evening, you're able to share successfully a lot of stories. Uh, I say a lot, but it's probably like three or four different stories from Erebor. And you're able to sh- to to gain knowledge uh, from from uh, uh, from Stonyford and about the Bayornings and, of course, about the Sickle of the Moon which uh, Luthwin is able to more or less hang around for and, and hear about. Okay. So Mm -hmm. the two of you kind of, kind of get to share this successfully. Um, Let's see. What can I do with that? Uh, You know what? I think I'm going to leave that as it is. Uh, You did a good job with that. So, I'm going to move on. Uh, Radigund, you've already done a search uh, or explore for uh, ways out and ways in. Uh, Walford, uh, apart from eating, drinking, and telling children where they can go to tug on the dwarf's beard, which some of them, by the way, do. Um, 
what would you like to do with Walford? Um, how, how, my, how much tying do they try and do? Well, there's kids that come by and, and they, they, some of them just kind of, they're scared of you because you've got a huge head and really wide shoulders <laughs> and, and big, thick legs and arms. So they yeah, try and come. Wearing chain and stuff too. So. Well, now, are you still wearing chain? Yep. Um, or would you have taken it off for the evening? Um. Okay, you, yeah, I might, I might have it off, yeah. Yeah, you, there's a safe place to store these things that you can get to at any time that you need to, and there is a full-sized guard watching over uh, any uh, makeshift armory, so that, that okay. should not be a problem. Okay? Okay. But, uh, like, a couple of, of uh, younger younger girls come by, and they try to, to kind of very very gingerly kind of stroke your beard a little bit from the outside. Um <laughs> They're in your field of vision, but you're kind of listening intently. Um, mm -hmm. So, so it's it's more of a mild distraction than anything. Um, yeah, I, I just want to like laugh heartily at them and say, "Les, you're too young." Okay. Would you, would you like? <laughs> would you like to know how dwarven beards and about? women uh, as well. Walford, I'll come back to you in just a minute. Oh, oh this is getting fun. Um, <laughs> um, so, so the the little girls that you're talking to are like, but can I can I touch it? Can I can I tug on it? Um, as long as it's not too too rough. She 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 when, she reaches up. Harm a friend now, won't you? Well, no, of course not. But it's it's just we were I told that you have time. really good, a really nice beard. Um, I do. I do. <laughs> the folks I'm doing do you take pride in our beards. Oh, even we've heard the name Durin. Oh, yes. and they sit down. And and go to listen to some of your tales. I serve the king under the mountain. King Ironfoot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come back to you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go off on the story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, uh, what is it you're trying to do for the evening? <laughs> uh, well, since, since I can't help my friend to get like you know a victory in her uh, in her chosen game. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I think I'm I'm going to like you know just amuse myself uh, around the L house. And have I heard Norin um, trying to find out about the silver scythe? Um, Norin, have you been asking specific questions about uh, the uh, the sickle of the moon? Yes. Okay. Uh, then uh, part of the story is. You know, sharing stories of Erebor and fighting at the Battle of Five Armies and asking about the sickle and okay. you know, maybe, you know, if someone, like, if a family had, had, had the chance to use it, like, how it, what it did or what happened to their crops or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Then, so uh... Trying to get more info. Okay. Then, Walford, go ahead and give me a standard awareness test. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting here trying to figure out why I can't find it. And it's like, you know, that's because it's closed, dummy. La, <clears throat> la, 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 la. Good Lord. So it's favored. Okay. <laughs> Have you been messing with your dice? Nope. Since, since I reloaded? Mm. Nope. Okay. You are able to hear Norin going on. Um, in certain parts about like he gets animated about the Battle of the Five Armies and and uh, uh, stuff like that, but uh, and and some other subjects that he's probably interested in more so than others. But you don't really hear much about the sickle. Do I just know he was asking about it? Uh, well, I mean, you uh, let's see, Wolf. Who all was it that came in? It was uh, it was uh, Norin. Luthwin 
And who else came in? Egil. Uh, e- Egil. Egil. Yeah. Egil. yeah. The three of us came together. Yeah. Okay. So first, you don't really know a whole lot uh, about him because you've come in from a different direction altogether. Mm-hmm. Um, so Just heard of him. Yeah, 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 you've heard of him and that he may be participating yeah. like you. Um, but that's about it. Hmm. Uh, I just, uh, I wanted to play a joke and I, I just, I needed to know if I knew, so I'd know whether or not I could play it. <laughs> uh, well, you've already played one. <laughs> uh, I I have. And, and if anybody else had been asking questions, I would have done it to them just to, just to spread it around. But <laughs> Norman, Ross is the only one that's given me any ammunition. <laughs> yeah, I'm not to turn your joke against you. <laughs> Okay. Because I'm a smart one. <laughs> um, well, actually, I, w- I was just going to get back to that. Uh, it may cause a little bit of a sensation, but you hear, uh, Norrin, you hear uh, the noise of a few boys playing around. They're running all over the place, and they're, they're trying to it, – it's more or less a Stone Age version of tag that they're playing. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, and one of the boys comes around and and grabs your shirt, okay, at the at the shoulder, and kind of tries to use you Whoa, as an man. anchor, <laughs> so that he can. All right. All right. Is there something I can help you with, lady? Oh no, he keeps running on. He's he's too busy laughing and carrying on, unless you try to reach out and stop him. Um, no, I'm not, unless he's trying to do me harm, I'm just going to kind of let it go. Okay. Um, because I'm enjoying my drink. <laughs> okay. Well, the the but, two other boys are more or less chasing him. Okay. And... <laughs> oh, 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 is it looking like he needs... The, the third boy comes around and misses your shoulder. And grab your beard. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, now. Are we trying to uh, incite a bit of blowing? <laughs> or is this uh, a game anyone can play? Uh, it, the, the boy actually stopped when he grabbed your beard and got a hold of a, a chunk of yesterday's chili. Um, he, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey now, my beard is clean. <laughs> I'm not a messy dwarf. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All dwarves are messy. I use a napkin. <laughs> anyway, whole, he gets a hold of, of your... Hmm? Maybe the whole team of hog is a napkin. Uh, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> it, 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 or use your beard on your beard to wipe your beard. Anyway, um, uh, so so he grabs your beard instead of but he uh, of your shirt, but he only yanks a little bit um, mm-hmm. before he realizes what's going on, and then releases your beard. But by now he is way way off balance and goes tumbling into a nearby uh, tree trunk, and uh, uh, he doesn't hit it hard. It's it's but it is enough that uh, it scares him and he he sits up and he says oh I'm so sorry Mister well sorry that you are you okay huh? uh, he's he... not as funny as one of my brothers we used to play a similar game uh-huh. many years ago when I was much younger. So, so there's no oh, bluster from you. Oh, there's... I laugh. Well, I I try not to laugh. Uh huh. And uh, you know, I will uh, get up a little and say, uh, "You need to watch where you're playing because you can hurt yourself if you hit your head on that trunk." You... And tell him to throw spears without asking. And invite <laughs> trouble. Okay, I yes, sir. I'm I sorry. Boys' names are trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Um, uh, yeah, young boys do often invite trouble, so. Yes. Well, I was in your land once myself. Wait, how old are you then? I'm only 51. Still a young dwarf compared to Thorin, who was a little older when he went to fight the dragon, but... He, I have seen many things. His 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 eyes go saucer sized. Okay, and and uh, 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 <laughs> Walford, you can actually hear this kind of of thing that's going on now. Um, but uh, his eyes go waffle sized. You're fifty one. Yes. My young Florentor. My dad is only twenty two. Well, humans. Men and dwarves to age differently. I might outlive your father, or he might outlive me, depending on whether I die in battle or not. <laughs> wow. And then the other I two did. boys are like, come on, let's go. You know, they, they call his name. I, I haven't made up his name. This is completely off yeah. the cuff. But um, they call his name, and they say, come on, come on, get away from there. And and he gets oh, up and he says, if you don't want to. he says, I'll, I'll be more careful. And he, he nods at you and his his eyes are kind of really, um, uh, he's he's remorseful oh, okay. about what he's done. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and then he turns and goes. It just bolts off after the other two. Well, I I finished the tanker that uh, I was drinking. Okay. And and see my I get up. Stretch my feet and go get a refill. Okay, and while you're stretching your feet and going to get a refill, what? Uh, let's let's somebody just get started and tell me what you if you're doing anything else for the rest of the evening, or I can go down the list. <laughs> I'm probably going to pass out and go to sleep. Okay. All right. Uh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Did uh, any of us think to find a sponsor besides Duota, who already has one? Um, uh, the sponsorships will actually happen uh, in the morning. Even Duota doesn't know what events, uh, event or events that she'll be taking place in. So, because they haven't been announced yet and won't be till, until the uh, marshal arrives tomorrow morning. Alrighty then. <laughs> if Duwada gets like you know get, get gets you know plum like pass out drunk, <laughs> uh, I, I find Radigan uh, and, and and Ewald to you know, come help carry her off to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get her home safe. If okay. not, yeah, before that, I like it. Oh, sorry, before that, I like to my yeah. Before that, I like to my round two in for the arm wrestling. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, actually, it's it's uh, if I'm going down the list, it's kind of your turn. So go ahead, and uh, again, the penalty is a two. So give it a shot. Let's see. You now. Mouth Holy mouth. smokes! Um, the second time around, Ewell, uh, takes Bjarner's arm and almost slams it into the table. Uh, it is all the Bjarnin can do to, to keep you from, from, uh, uh, you know, from getting him down, uh, too much or, 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 uh, he, uh, hurting him. I know what I'm trying to say. He says, for a woodman, you're awfully strong. What happened between the first time and this? Uh, just a little bit of rest is all I needed. Well, uh, you must teach me your te technique for re uh, for rest. Uh, I may need <laughs> to use it in in uh, in my journeys to protect the borders of the Barning Lands. Nicely done. And he goes and you know he claps his hand with yours and everything like that. I'll buy you a drink. Accept your offers, but I'm not. It was an honor. <laughs> and he he laughs about it. You have a strange way of talking too. Uh, oh, there you go. I oh, like that, Ross. Tell me that. <laughs> 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 All right, Luthwin. 
O'Connor. Yes. Uh, anything else you okay. want to do for the evening? Well, uh, do I perhaps notice the halfling uh, to pretty much playing tricks on uh, my friend? No, I never really got to. So um, instead, I'm amusing myself with like you know uh, either singing or um, uh, trying to riddle somebody. There you go. There you go. You uh, when I get to you, let's see if you can riddle. Um, All right. So what else might you want to do, Luthwin? Hmm. I don't have much. Just probably wander around, try and pick up tails. And just, you know, hang around pretty much. Trying to. I feel tired enough. Trying to, to kind to of, of gauge people's body language and whatnot. Uh, to see. Yeah, probably. Okay. All right. To see where you might get an advantage. Um. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Uh, let's see. Where would that... That would probably fall under awareness. Go ahead and give me an awareness check, please. Uh, no penalties? Uh, you don't know anyone here. This is the first time you've ever been in the village. Yeah, I'm going to give you a penalty of two. It's not much, but uh, you can generally read body language well enough. Okay, that great success. Um, let's see. So, two success dice. Let me break that down. Let me look at it. Okay, so no, you got one. Okay, you know that's not too bad, but you did get an eye of Sauron. Okay, I'm gonna give you one dice. Uh, uh, that you can use in a similar fashion to what I gave Ginger for Radigant. Just write it okay. down somewhere and, and try and use it uh, a little bit later. Okay, uh, but you're watching body language into the evening, and unfortunately, uh, as dissipation sets in for most of these folks, you find that their body language becomes more and more disagreeable. Um, it's not as easy to read. Okay, uh, Norin, uh, we, we've, we've dealt with you most of the time tonight, so let me get kind of a final thing before bedtime. Oh, I finished my, my second or third round of drinks. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I will go up to the boys that were, you know, playing their game earlier, mm -hmm. including the one that, you know, had the incident with me mm -hmm. and just try to like toss on my hair and I will leave a silver piece for each of them oh. and tell them that come when you grow up come see me in Erebor and I will fashion something for you hmm really oh wow Okay. Assuming I'm, not, uh, assuming I'm not buried in snow by then. But <laughs> <laughs> wow, and you talk I about will... death a lot. Are you expecting to die? No, it is just it is just something that I have seen too much of. So I hope not to see it anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let me ask you this question. How likely are you to continue playing this character after this uh, if if we get into the next adventure, it depends on uh, whether I can play my Lady of Gondor or not. <laughs> okay. If, if I can play a version of her, then I might stick with the more. Okay. Well, do me a favor then. Go ahead and go to your notes section on your sheet and mark down mm -hmm. the three three silver pieces. Okay, that you handed them out to the boys uh, for the future. Yeah. That's awfully yeah. kind of you. Um, well, I am prosperous, so it's not like it's a, a being hurt on on my money. Yeah, that's that's like, true. Uh, I, I, I am honorable and generous. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I'm honorable and generous, and you know, I also craft things. 
So, well, if this was in know, Torg, I might give you a possibility for it. Potential <laughs> <in> business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, okay. They might, they might kill their parents or something and get. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. All right. Uh, Radigand. I'm going to turn in. Okay. Okay. I, I kind of figured. Radigand, anything else you want to do for the evening? Or did you already turn in? Ginger. Oh, duh, that is me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hello? <laughs> I can't remember my own character's name. Uh, yeah, she'll she'll um uh help get uh Duoda home safely and probably Kaj a place to sleep and uh, sleep over. Kaj. As in uh um invite herself over for the night so she doesn't have to pay a price for the inn. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you don't even have to do that. You can just go home. <laughs> Okay, so no problem. What was that, uh, cat? I I just thought it was funny. I was yeah. laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>